The Supreme Court and Trump have decoupled abortion, right? It's not a national issue anymore. It's off the table. So women don't have to be a, the single issue voter anymore. They don't have to ignore crime, immigration, inflation, energy, education, all of these huge issues, what we would call the rest of the world. You don't have to just vote based on what Planned Parenthood depends, demands of you. You know, he's already said he's against the national ban. So the right to choose is now a state issue, which is closer to the voter. I bring this up because this is going to come up tomorrow. And Trump need, just needs to say this is not part of my, you know, my decision making. It's now back to you. So a vote for or against Trump from a woman has no impact on the issue of abortion, has no impact. The Dems don't want you to know that. They're very reductive. If you're a woman, it has to be about abortion. How insulting is that? How stereotypical is that, that you can't think about inflation, that you can't think about foreign policy? Ooh, that's not important. It's not, it's my right to choose. Not on the table. Greg Gutfeld thought he made some great points to absolve Donald Trump of his now regrettable accomplishment of overturning Roe versus Wade. He's still learning that it's impossible to cover for a guy that self-sabotages every week. Well, why did Trump flip flop on you it? Know, then? You know, Dana. He never did. He did last week. On, yeah, on how he's going to vote told, on I just Florida. Gave, I just told you. He said he knows that a six week abortion ban is draconian. And then when I guess he heard from his big donors, he said, ah, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. That doesn't, you just heard my answer. This is yeah. a state thing. It's closer to the voters. It's, he does. I mean, you could bring that up, but that doesn't, that's like playing in the weeds. What I'm talking about right now is the issue is decoupled right. from the election. It's, you know, listening, Jessica, I just said that abortion has nothing to do with this election. And since I said it, you should basically take it as fact. Trump also tried to call it over and done with weeks ago, and it was just as effective as Gutfeld's attempt. I think the abortion issue has been uh, taken down many notches. I don't think it's of, uh, I don't think it's a big factor anymore, really. And when people hear what I said in the debate, and I think I said it very well during the debate, we've brought it back to the states. Everybody wanted it in the states. That issue has is very much subdued. Yeah, thank you. So you notice the tone. This is what these guys don't understand, because they're unable to put themselves in the positions of anyone but themselves. Gutfeld downplayed and disparaged anyone whose lives have been affected by draconian abortion bans meant to make unaffected people feel a sense of control over others. He thinks saying, you shouldn't care about this because I don't, is an effective argument to take millions of people's rights away. It's a weird superiority complex that they can't escape. Oh, and by the way, despite Gutfeld's denial, yes, Trump did change his mind on abortion again. You I mean, overturned I Roe, and you want abortion to be a states' rights issue. In Florida, the state that you are a resident of, there's an abortion-related amendment on yeah. the ballot to overturn the six-week ban in mm -hmm. Florida. How are you going to vote on that? Well, I think the six-week is too short. Uh, it has to be more time, and so that's, and I've told them that I want more weeks. So you'll vote in favor of the amendment? I'm, I'm voting that, I am going to be voting that we need more than six weeks. Look, just so you understand, everybody wanted Roe v. Wade terminated for years, 52 years. I got it done. They wanted to go back to the states. Unsurprisingly, that answer of a six-week window pissed off the evangelical base that he doesn't give a damn about. So his campaign recalibrated his position again to quell their anger. But there were still more notches that the issue hadn't been taken down yet. This morning, a first of its kind decision by the Alabama Supreme Court. The court determining frozen embryos qualify as people under its state law. Ruling unborn children are children without exception based on developmental stage. The chief justice in a concurring opinion quoting the Bible. The decision from Alabama Supreme Court is quickly reverberating across the state's health care system with a major hospital now stopping IV treatments. Families tell us that they are confused, frustrated, and shocked that desperately needed fertility options could soon no longer be available in the state. Under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, and healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and families to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans, 
I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. What could be more beautiful or better than that? He hadn't even thought of the possibility that IVF treatments would be on the chopping block until one of those little pesky states that they claim has given the power back to voters banned it. Oddly, without asking voters what they thought. So now that he's discovered that he's wrong about his assertion that the topic has been taken down a few notches, the only play left is to ignore reality and dishonestly demonize pro-choice positions. Right through the ninth month, think of this, and you know where I am. You know where I am, the exceptions. I believe in the exceptions. He supports it, though, right through the ninth month and beyond. You know what beyond means? After the baby is born. After the baby is born. So as I said in my debate with crooked Hillary Clinton, rip the baby out of the womb at any time. And if the baby is already out of the womb, he's there too. Just talk to the doctor. No, you don't want that. And that lie has been disproven and ridiculed for weeks, but it's already embedded itself in the alternate world that MAGA supporters live in. So there's no going back. He can blatantly lie like this as long as he keeps adjusting his actual beliefs on abortion to align himself with the radical evangelical base that he's pandered to for power. He's been all over the place on the issue for decades. I am pro-choice, but I respect the views of those who are not. I believe that this is a very personal decision that must be left to women and their doctors, not to the politicians. Are you going to say put them in jail? Are you, is that well, the no, what I'm that asking you? About? Because you say you want to ban it. What's I, that I mean? Would, I am against. I am pro-life. Yes. What is ban? How do you ban abortion? How do you actually do it? Well, you know, you'll go back to a, a position like they had, where people will perhaps go to illegal places. Yeah. But you have to ban it. Yeah. Mr. President, did Arizona go too far? Did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. And and I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason, and that will be taken care of, I think, very quickly. What do you think about Florida? Uh, uh, Florida's Florida is probably maybe going to change also. Do you believe, no, but, in, but you're, do you believe you're, in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Ten no, cents, ten you, years, I don't what? Know. That I don't know. Well, why I don't not? Know. I don't you know. You take positions and everything to, else. I frankly, I do take positions and everything else. It's a very complicated position. I'm asking, asking you're running no, for no. president. I'm not. Chris, I'm asking you, Chris, what should a woman face no, no, if she chooses I, I to have I'm an abortion? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to play that game. You, game? You have. You, you said you're pro-life. You have. I am pro-life. That means banning abortion. And so is the Catholic Church pro-life. He doesn't know whether he's coming or going on this issue. But as long as he listens to ignorant people with the singular goal of controlling the bodies of people that they see as inferior, then he, Greg Gutfeld, and all the other crusty men obsessed with women's uteruses can't just claim that it's not important. Some are on birth control too, and birth control like really screws up female brains, by the way. Every single one of you need to make sure that your loved ones are not on birth control.